Hello, welcome to The Generational Gamer. If you haven't already noticed, we are talking about Astro Flame Starfighter today. It's a shoot 'em up. I'm sure you're shocked by that, but this one's a little bit more unique because it has a leveling up feature. I believe it's called Roguelike today. Anyway, we're gonna start by taking a look at this game. I will tell you this, my only real gripe with it, the loading is a bit slow on the Switch, but it's also available for the other modern consoles, so if you don't like loading, go with those. The options are somewhat limited, but here they are. You can change the language, the difficulty, the sound, and the most important one is the auto fire. Believe me, you want that one enabled. Between each level, you can go to the hangar, and that is where you can upgrade your ship using the in-game currency. And you'll see those little circles floating around as I get into the game in a moment. Those little green circles, that is your in-game currency. Also, those items on the left side do not originally appear there. Those are gathered as you enhance your ship in the hangar. So this is an early level, and my ship is way too overpowered for it. How about we go to something a little bit more difficult? Maybe that was too difficult. We're not quitters, let's try it again. So to me, this really is like a modern-ish retro game. The controls are really good, especially if you use the, the Pro Controller. The graphics are good for what they are, and the sound is okay, but for 10 bucks, you really can't complain too much. It's a lot of fun. I've actually been playing this one far more than any of my other retail games, to be honest, and I do appreciate the developer sending me a copy for me to check it out. For whatever reason, this one seems to fit with me pretty well. I've been enjoying it. And again, for $10, you can't go wrong. Right now it's on sale during its pre-order window. Check it out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.